Question 1, October-November 2023. Tick one box to complete the sentence. Verification is used to make sure that a value entered. So really to answer this question, it's important to know the difference between validation and verification. So valid validation is making sure that any data entered meets a set of rules. Those rules could be things like, is it a particular data type? So is it an integer? Is it a string? Is it a boolean? Is the data a certain number of characters long? So for example, if you're entering a date, you might set it to be however many characters you want the date to be entered as. And we could have things like, is the data between a certain range of numbers? So that's validation, setting up some rules, checking any data entered meets those rules. Verification is a way of asking somebody to type something in. And then the verification part is either showing it to them and asking them, is that what you, what you wanted to type in? Or asking them to type it in a second time and then comparing that with the original. So if we look at our potential answers here, a is quite a good candidate. Verification is used to make sure value entered has not changed during input. So you input the data and then the verification part is either, as I say, show, show that to the user. Is that what you want to type in? Yes or no? Um, or asking them to type in a second time. And that is a way of showing that the data has not changed during input. If they type it in the same twice, then that must be the value that they wanted. If we look at B, um, so I'm going to go ahead and tick that because I like that, is an integer, well, that's a validation method, is correct. It's not really going to, the thing is, it's possible that the person could type it in wrong twice. Now, if they typed it in wrong twice, then it's going to pass the verification check. So verification won't actually tell you whether it's correct or not. I mean, that's up to the human to do. To, to type it in correctly twice, um, but it's much, much, much le less likely to type it incorrectly a second time. Anyway, and then we've got D is not a string, so um, again, that's the validation method. Okay, so that's uh, the first one. That's two minutes just for one mark, but hopefully that's been useful. Let's move on to question two.